about like how nature. Well, actually, I haven't always thought. Um, for a while, I never really realized the power of nature and how spiritual it really is. But then I reached a point where um, I was eventually struck by the power of nature, just like all it could do, um, and almost how little we are. And just, but I've never really felt like I've fully experienced what nature is and what it what it holds and in terms of knowledge. I think when I'm in services in my synagogue and everyone's singing, like I don't, I don't know how to describe it. There's just like really deep pitch. And like people are harmonizing and stuff, and everyone just seems so into it. Doing community service stuff like that. Like doing food drives, I know I've done a few of those because it's very helpful. And I know like, being a Jew, you have to do mitzvahs. There was always an edge of the beach, and there were these rocks, and you know, you never, you never go past the rocks. So there's this one time where I decided, you know, why, why not climb up? So I just started climbing across. As I was climbing across, you just like see how slippery it is. And there was one point where I almost fell in. And oddly enough, I guess that was pretty spiritual because it was the first time like I, I saw like the strength of nature. During the Passover service at my uh, at my grandmother's house, it's one of the only times where I feel truly involved in Judaism. Um, something like Yom Kippur, I think, is very sterile. It isn't very personal. I just got the general sense that I was, that I'd grown up and now I was a real part of the community and I had real responsibilities and real privileges. And the moment where I did this, where I presented, was the first thing I did for, I feel like this first big thing that I did for other people because I was like, I was teaching them and I think the moment where I gave something back was really that transformation moment. Um, all the grades, starting with eighth grade and then moving down, uh, switch spots in the gym to where they will sit next year, and it's sort of symbolic of moving up. And uh, the eighth grade actually moves up onto a stage. My grandfather passing away. It was a really difficult experience, needless to say, um, but. Um, it was also during a time where I wasn't doing particularly well in school because I just didn't care all that much. And um, sort of feeling that uh, in a way that I might have disappointed my grandfather and I never actually got to prove myself. But I do know like the most like life-changing experience I've had was transition from middle school to high school because I know then um, I don't think I was really like being honest with myself and my personality during middle school, and then once high school started, I kind of, kind of like figured out who I really was. And I don't think I have come of age. I think it's a very slow process. 